What's up guys and welcome to my review of the Nokia Lumia 930. Now let's not waste any more time and just get straight into it. Now I'm not really used to handling a phone at this weight and I never really got used to it either. It comes in at 167 grams which is actually quite hefty by today's standards and I couldn't really get a decent grip on it either because of that plastic back. As for the locations of the buttons, I wasn't a fan of that either. The power button was far too down for me on the phone and the same goes for the volume rocker. However, I did like the location of the dedicated camera button and I used it quite a bit. Let's talk display and the 930 has a pretty nice one at that, but I wasn't too blown away by it, probably because you're constantly faced with all these windows flopping about. And yes, I know you can customize those tiles, but for me, Windows OS doesn't do any display any favors. I do, however, like how everything is color coded and that can speed up some navigation. So as you guys might have guessed, this is the first Windows phone I've actually used and after spending some time with it, I can honestly say I'm not a fan at all of this OS. It might work well for some people, but I never really got used to this tile style and even when you're using applications, it didn't look or feel particularly inspiring. Maybe it's because I'm so used to Android, but honestly, I don't even think that's it. There just isn't that freedom and customization which I think is essential nowadays. So Cortana, honestly guys, I used it once and then really didn't care. Browsing on this device kinda sucks, everything seems really watered down and not that easy to navigate. Obviously some sites come off better than others, but it just looks really outdated at times pictures don't render properly as well. On the plus side, typing is a pleasant experience. There's plenty of room for your fingers to stretch. But the thing that really saves this device is its camera. I was really impressed with it. You can get some great images and video with it. That 20 megapixel sensor really does make a difference. Photos and video look way better than anything else on the device in fact. The audio quality playback you get from the 930 is plenty loud, but lacking in the quality department. And video playback from the likes of YouTube aren't the best either, I can't lie to you guys. Because of the 930's weight disadvantage, gaming on the device for long periods of time can get quite uncomfortable, but it runs games very well, no drops in frame rate, and graphics look great. The 930 has a non-removable 2420 milliamp hour battery and it's not too bad at all. You can easily get a full day with light to moderate use, so that is good news. If you're going to be using the wireless charger, which is included by the way, and what a touch of class that is, it's going to take a little longer to charge your device. But it's an awesome accessory to own and works with my Nexus 5 as well. Call quality is good, nice and clear from both sources. I did really want to like this phone, but it really didn't suit me at all. Maybe I'm too used to Android and iOS devices, but having to learn Windows Phone OS and this device wasn't the most pleasant of experiences. Actually, it was like going back in time. They still have a long way to go in my opinion. It's a massive plus having that 32 gig internal storage, especially with that excellent camera. Those are your plus points, but it just didn't cut the mustard for me. A big thank you to Vodafone for the sample and the link is in the description if you wanna check that out. But what do you guys think? Are you gonna pick up this phone? Do you already have this phone? Are you sick of this phone? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Anyway guys, I'll talk to you in the next one.